Well, a federal task force recently came out with new recommendations that women should start getting mammograms at the age of 40. Now, the current advice for women at normal risk of breast cancer is to get them at age 50. The news is especially important for black women. The death rates are the highest of any other group. And here to tell us more is Dr. Jason McKellop. He's medical director at Breastlink Women's Imaging in Tarzana. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I have to tell you, as a black woman and as a breast cancer survivor, I was a bit surprised, but maybe not as surprised to hear that the suggestions now are that black women should get screened earlier. Tell me a little bit about why the need for that. So frustratingly, over the past uh, several decades, we've noticed a steady increase in the incidence of breast cancer. Mm -hmm. And that increase has been about 1% um, yearly mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the number of breast cancers diagnosed. And uh, more recently, since 2016, there's been uh, even more of an increase in the, the rate of breast cancer by two to 4%. Mm -hmm. And that has caused the uh, the U.S. Preventative Task Force to reconsider their initial recommendation for mm -hmm. screening at age 50 uh, back to uh, the recommended age of age 40. Uh, and one of those uh, indicators is that uh, black women have been diagnosed or statistically speaking are diagnosed with breast cancer earlier. And when you look at the mortality or deaths related to breast cancer, they're 40% more likely oh. to die from the disease uh, compared to other ethnic backgrounds. And why is that, do you think? So it's, it's multifactorial. Okay. Uh, just like everything in medicine, mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of contributing factors. Mm -hmm. uh, we could divide them into buckets, if you will, uh, one of them being social determinants uh, mm -hmm. of medicine, and this includes socioeconomic factors, institutional factors, and behavioral factors that may contribute to uh, black women not getting uh, care earlier. Mm -hmm. um, and when they do get care, getting it in a timely basis and then following up on treatment recommendations. Mm -hmm. And uh, you also have comorbid issues or mm -hmm. cor comorbidities mm -hmm. that can contribute, uh, statistically speaking, African-American women are um, more likely to have obesity, heart disease, and diabetes, all of which can contribute mm -hmm. to uh, developing breast cancer. And then finally, biologic um, differences uh, between women. Mm -hmm. If you look at the types of breast cancers that are developed uh, among populations, black women uh, mm -hmm. are at higher risk of developing triple negative disease and more aggressive cell types of breast cancers. And they're also um, more likely to develop the disease at an earlier age. Mm -hmm. And real quick, um, dense breast. Are black women more likely to have dense breast? Is that part of it too, or is that so, not true? So breast density uh, can vary on a regional basis. And sometimes you can see um, population differences based on ethnicities, but not specific uh, biological difference that contribute to it. Um, body habitus. So if you look at uh, patients who are more likely to be obese, then there's more fat within their breasts mm -hmm. and less likely to be dense, mm -hmm. um, but but no real contributing factors from a, a racial ethnic standpoint. Okay, but the key now is really everyone gets screened uh, and you don't need to have a, a family member who had breast cancer. I did not have breast cancer in my family when I was diagnosed, so Absolutely. certainly key. All right, thank you so much, Dr. McKellop. And of course, you can find more information about breast cancer and mammograms by going to our website, KCALNews.com and click scene on TV.